Wow, that's really, that's really strong. strong. Yeah, really strong. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you pick it up now? Is it possible? We'll receive the gunshots. And the, and the morning. Okay, well, have a look to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to visit a protected forest in Gabun where I meet the eco guide Fabrice and he's going to show me how to survive in the African jungle. In the tropical forest, ah. we have uh, a lot of mosquitoes. And talking about the mosquitoes, we talk about malaria. And here we have uh, a tree, as you can touch it here, and this is this one. This is a tree which we can use in aim to fight malaria. Malaria? Yeah. Okay. You can take it previously or you can take it here to, to, to get recovery. How is this working? With your nigh bush, mm -hmm. you just remove the back. Yeah. Oh, As you can see, it is so it's yellow. yellow. Okay. And that's why it's name uh, in a uh, local name is Mwamba Jun. Mm -hmm. But Enancia Clorenta is a scientist name. You clean, you clean this, uh, this, uh, this outside of the back. Just clean it. Yeah. You know, this, uh, this cellular are not uh, curative because mm -hmm. they always, here is dyed. What yeah. we need is this one. The yellow. Yeah, yeah, the yellow one. The cambium. Yeah. You could take a, a piece of bark mm -hmm. and you'll keep it in your mouth. Okay. Yes, cut it and then you'll be showing your, what is and coming out. And you chew it. Yeah. You chew it? This part of the bark, mm -hmm. you'll be just cutting it and then to so let it easily go inside the bottle. Yeah. And then you have your medicine yeah. ready against malaria. Yeah, against malaria. That's really cool. Checking it. You'll, be, you'll, you'll wait for when the odor will be so yellow, like the back of the, of the Enosia Clorenta, you'll be drinking it. Uh -huh. But you just have to support because it's very bitter. Yeah. Yeah. And then you could drink it morning time and evening time before sleeping. Uh -huh. It's okay. good for malaria. Two times a day you drink yeah, it? Yeah, two times a day. Okay. Yeah. It's really bitter. Yeah, really bitter. You have to support, you know. Oh. If you want to get recovery, oh. you have to support it. <laughs> After taking the bark, mm -hmm. I, must, I must start to, to heal the trees back. Mm -hmm. I will just find some nutrients on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then, I'll be healing the tree. Mm. This is Maranta leaves, called Maranta leaf for understory. This one is useful in my in my society. So with this Maranta leaves, you can make a to like a, a cup if you need a cup. Just uh, taking it like this. Let me see where it could work. Mm -hmm. Have a cup. Mm -hmm. So you can drink. You can make, from the from the from the stream. Oh, from yeah, the stream. The stream. Uh, Drop your water inside. Uh huh. Sure. Yes. And then traditionally you have a cup. Uh -huh. Emergency cup. <laughs> <laughs> really awesome. Yeah. Traditionally you have a cup. Uh -huh. And um, if you need, if you want to fill your bottle, you will find another leaves again. Uh -huh. One or two, three leaves. Just cut. Cut it. You will make a cone with it. A cone, yes. Yeah. You need to fill your bottle or so, mm. something like that. Put it inside. Yeah. So you can refill a bottle. Yeah. You, with yeah, the you cone. can refill your bottle with a cone, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And can you also use these leaves for wrapping a fish and then throw it into the fire? Yes, of, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they are non-poisonous, and you can use them for cooking. No, 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 it's not poisonous. Okay, good, yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you. This is your present. That's you can keep it. Thank for you. you. <laughs> I will keep it. Okay. <laughs> Here. 
it is wanted for uh, it is wanted for the, the manufacture of plywood mm -hmm. and wood of uh, of furniture. Okay. It's called okume. Okume. Uh, and uh, I will try to collect it. Mm -hmm. Then we'll find another tools and then we'll, we'll make a traditional lamp with uh, this sap of mm -hmm. okume. Should yeah. I hold it? No problem. Okay. Yeah. So we will find more. Yeah. Okay. Never so seen this. Can you pick it up? No. Is it poisonous? No. Not touching no. it. As you saw before, when the when it, when it used to come out, it's still, it is still white. Yeah. And when the... When it's in getting the older. In, in the contact of hair after it became black like this. Mm -hmm. If you don't collect it on time, it will become black. Yeah. yeah. But we can still use it for the fire. Yeah, yeah for the fire. Yeah. Olovongo trees is the name of this one. Traditionally, we use the bark of Olovongo trees. Uh, if you are next to the stream, just collect the bark in big quantities and pound it. Throw it inside the river. You see, just fish coming out. There will be some somewhere like uh, somebody's drink. Uh huh. Yeah, so fish, it's yeah. a fish poisoning. Yeah, fish poison. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then will, you collect your fish easily, and mm -hmm. then you could prepare it. Oh. Yeah, the back. And this is thorns. Yeah. Okay. Maybe in to um, to protect itself from uh, predators. Mm -hmm. You know, you have some some uh, species like elephants used to hit the back of trees, mm -hmm. and this one is this is the. This protection. is the, uh, the protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know where you, why you wear the rubber boots. <laughs> because of the water. Okay, to be something like this for anting. Mm -hmm. What is missing is only the the, the row is missing. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So this is yeah. a bow. You just put a the row here. Bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Yeah. <laughs> can I can I cut it? Yeah, can I cut it? You can, can try it. Yeah. Wow, that's really, really strong. strong. Yeah, really strong. Yeah. Wow. And uh, somewhere else in my society, we will use it like, uh, uh, how do you call instrument in uh, English, please? Instrument? Instrument musical. Instrument. Yeah. yeah. For producing sound, for music. Mm -hmm. With your mouth, and uh, you know, and this, this, this. yeah, this, this tool, both are both, both of them are tools, you know. Yeah. Wow, and this is the, the change the yeah. rhythm of sounds. You have to, to play with this one, and yeah. I call it the fish that you are. Awesome, I've never seen this before. And then with your mouth, will be just uh, making enough noise. Okay. Wow. Hi. Okay. boy. Let me test it first. See what? Let me see. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, boy. Have a look to the camera. <laughs> okay. It tastes a little bit yeah, yeah, sweet. Also. This mm -hmm. one also comes out easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's telling me that there are many varieties of lionies, and this is the right one where you can get water out. Okay. And this has this distinct spark, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. A brown each. Brown. And we have some. Uh, some Discoloration yeah, with yeah, green. green. So the non poisonous leonie is the one which comes out quickly and the water is clear. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, will be left on the. Yeah. On the fresh ones. Yeah. yeah. So these are the leaves of the young lion where you can drink the water from. And uh, you just mentioned that the, the young leaves are red. Okay. Oh my god. They are first red and then they turn green. Yes. Okay. The drinkable light. Yeah, drinkable. Yeah. This one is called the Nyove, Nyove is Totia Gabonensis. It's like blood? Yes, blood, yeah. See, the sap is like blood. You can use it for making up if you want to, to, to they will think that you will receive a gunshot. In the, in the movie, if you want to make, make, make up of movies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm injured, I'm injured. <laughs> Okay, this is a traditional, traditional bait hiding, you know. When you hurt yourself inside the jungle, yeah. try to find the sack on your way and they apply it. Apply it and then it will, uh, it will, it will recover your wound. Cover your wound? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. okay, so if I cut myself with the knife, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I take the yeah, sap and put it yeah. on the wound? Yeah, of course, yeah, the sap of new mm -hmm. And you rub it. And it's called Nuove? Nuove. Nuove. We have N-I-O-V-E. New okay. way, local New name. Way. And scientist name is uh, Stotia Gabonensis. Uh -huh. It is scientist name. And elsewhere, when once bitten by a snake inside the jungle, yeah. just apply it. It will slow down the progression of poison in your in your in your body. Uh -huh, and okay. then you could uh, find the hospital and receive the appropriate treatment. Okay. Yeah. And talking about newborn baby with um, the pain mm -hmm. they will apply it on the gums and they will Stop every uh, pentifin. Mm -hmm. yes. What is pentifin? When 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 the first teeth is coming out with ah, paints. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Coming out with paints. Yeah. yeah so you put it in the mouth. Yeah, yeah, on the oh, yeah, okay. on the gums, on the gums. Yeah. On the gum yeah, of yeah, the baby. Yeah, baby yeah. Then they have less toothache. Okay. Oh, cool. This is uh, something that we will we'll need inside the jungle for your survival. Okay. I'm sorry to have involved in you. Every, every, every snake poison is, uh, is, not, is not good for human beings. Do you get, do you get him? Alright guys, so we just saw a poisonous snake and it's maybe a green mamba but we are not sure and it seems to be poisonous so yeah you really have to watch your step in the jungle yeah, all this. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I told you that it's a lion it's this one it's yeah. all lion yeah yeah it is it is still young but this one uh, is very important in our activities inside the jungle if you are lost yeah you are with colleague you just put this sound with it you could try to call your colleague with ah so this is a sni signal whistle so you you can signal for help yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. with the sound of it yeah, yeah. I have to test it okay the jungle signal whistle <laughs> cool yes wow so it's a edible lioni It has a lot of spikes on it. It's actually touched itself.
you just have to um, you have to prepare it on the charcoal. On the charcoal. And you yeah. set it on the charcoal mm -hmm. with that with that removing all of the have removed before. Mm -hmm. And then and then once burning, it will be easily to remove the the the, 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 the spins here. Mm -hmm. And then this part will be eatable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call it asperge. Mm -hmm. Asperge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call it uh, la cusperma secondi flora. It's a scientist name. You need it to be to be flexible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Try to arrange it just along the along the leaves like this. Mm -hmm. Could you even manage with what you have now? Maybe it's much more. Yeah, you, you can remove it. Even though it's much longer, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just just find it flexible. All the sap will be flexible. Okay. It means that you 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 will not be in the darkness tonight. Yeah. <laughs> because you already have your lamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's nice. Yeah. So and you can then, find your way out of the yeah, chunker yeah, with the yeah. torch. And then you see that you will never suffer from the from the, the cold because mm. this will, 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 will warm your space. And it will keep the mosquitoes away. Oh, yeah. Yes. Of course. And if there's bad spirits around, they will keep bad spirits uh, away too. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is our first uh, lamp in my country, in Gabon. Mm -hmm. I've been using the sap of Okume. Mm -hmm. It's uh, wrapped in the Maranta series. It's uh, a sample that we have here, the Maranta series, but it's still young. Thank you so much for this tour and I've learned so much. Really, really awesome. Are you burnt down? Yep. Very good. All right, so thank you very much for showing us these cool tricks in the forest and yeah I've really learned a lot and really thank you man thank you so much you're welcome thanks bye so yeah stay tuned till next time okay bye bye